nuclear energy has gotten a bad rap because of radioactive fallout and the words Three Mile Island, Chernobyl and Fukushima. But with due diligence, preparation and safety measures put in place, nuclear energy is clean, cheap and could just be the key to help turn the economy around as we hear more from our Clazel Pardelia. The prolonged impact of the El Nino phenomenon is now taking a toll on the country's energy supply. Multiple power plants across the nation have been forced offline. This may result not only in extended power interruptions, but also pose a threat to businesses heavily reliant on power. Moreover, insufficient energy and increasing demand for electricity are now pushing prices up, making the Philippines' power charges among the highest in the Southeast Asia region. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the Federation of Filipino-Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Inc. is now advocating for the exploration of alternative energy sources such as nuclear power. Kami po sa Federation. Uh, naniniwala, lower electricity costs will bring in more investment. Yan ang challenge natin ngayon. Maraming gustong pumunta rito sa Pilipinas para mag-invest. E nakikita nila may brownout. Nakikita mahal nila yung uh, mahal ang electricity costs natin. E maghanap ng ibang options. He stressed there are a lot of options in our neighboring countries. The only option that is open, that is cheap and safe. Proven na yan eh. Nuclear power is proven to be safe in many parts of the world. Everybody is going into it. Or not everybody is looking into it. Bakit hindi natin gawin? Di ba? Nakakatulong ito sa negosyo. Nakakatulong ito para babaan natin ang presyo ng electricity. Napakataas po. Nahihirapan po ang taong bayan. Representative Mark Quanco, chairperson of the House Special Committee on Nuclear Energy, stressed the country should have gone nuclear a long time ago. We are not doing this for just for the environmental benefits. We are doing this for the economic benefits. If we don't lower the price of electricity or increase, increase the reliability of supply, uh, all our macroeconomic plans, you can throw it all out the window. Uh, people will not be convinced to invest here. To achieve energy security, Senator Winga Chalian, Senate Committee on Energy Vice Chairman emphasized the importance of having an open mind on any technology as each and every one of them has pros and cons like nuclear power. In the Philippine Energy Plan, meron ng ganitong na conversation. Meron ng, uh, kumbaga meron ng uh, description kung paano tayo papasok at pinag-aaralan na yung pagpasok natin. Merong pros and cons rin ng nuclear. Isa, matagal ipatayo. Pangalawa, medyo mahal yung kanyang uh, pagpapatayo, no? yung initial cost niya. Pero malini siya, for sure, walang carbon emissions siya. At pangalawa, uh, relatively mas mura siya. He added, under the law, only the private sector is allowed to enter into power generation and engage in building and investing into power plants not only the government. Currently, the House of Representatives passed the Philippine Nuclear Energy Safety Act, which seeks the creation of an independent nuclear regulatory body. The Philippine Nuclear Liability Act was also proposed. Kalezal Pardilia for the new and better Philippines.